uh, with those two new guys in Gibson and Penn. So full court pressure here from DePaul. Down four count. to start. We're turning the paper a little bit here with the press. Taylor tries a three and knocks it down. Texas A. But last game against Oklahoma State, who plays a similar style with the pressure. They attacked and got to the foul line 33 times. Taylor, floater, good. As soon as you put the ball down, they swarmed the basketball and forced you to attack a little un unsure. Taylor now with Taylor defensively. They held Loyola Chicago to less than 60 points. Taylor right to the rim. Nobody in front. Of course, that was the COVID year. Then last season was in and out of the starting lineup. Sometimes happens with the DePaul team that's banged up again. And he's still trying to figure out where. They got to be able to do this without fouling, however. See if you can speed a and up, create more possession in the ball game, but do it by staying solid without fouling. AM hasn't been sped up too, too much in this ball game. Just eight turnovers for the Aggies. They average over 13 a game. Hanging on to a double digit lead. Taylor turns the corner and lays it in. Your turnover and a technical foul away from having a 10 point Certainly game. He's had a few of both of those today. Taylor. Fakes the pass and buries the ball. What Williams wanted to see. They lost a couple of games in double-digit fashion to Murray State in Colorado at Myrtle Beach. Come back, they get a win, holding a Loyola Chicago team under 60 points. And now again, really good defensively today against DePaul. And they've dominated the game in a, just about every facet. And Coach Williams making the adjustments, right? Changing the starting lineup. And then tonight playing through the post more with Henry Coleman. And Coleman, as a result, has six assists as a big man. Taylor beats the buzzer for three.